Hello everyone, we are from Barito Science Club, which consists of Nabil, Kevan, Rico, Rilo, and Afan. We would like to present you Road Safety on School Safe Zone. According to WHO in 2018, road traffic injuries are the first cause of death among children and young adults. And in Indonesia, there are many schools that are located near big road with many vehicles driving at high speed. In response, the government applied a program like School Safety Zone, namely Zona Selamat Sekolah or ZOSS, to anticipate the movement of school children who are unpredictable. To make School Safe Zone safer, we invent this project. Here are our proposals and aims. And here are our basic theory. We use Arduino Uno R3, Scratch, Mini PI Air, Ultrasonic Sensor, and ZOSS poster. This is our timeline from planning until discussion. This is the flowchart for the school safe zone traffic light as well as the road safety game. The working principle of this tool is, if the sensor detects the presence of someone at the gate location, then the traffic light will turn red for 20 seconds. Furthermore, if no people are detected at the gate, the traffic light will return to green. Traffic lights can only turn red only if the two sensors installed identify a subject at the gate. Because the working principle of the PIR sensor is to detect human body heat, it is almost certain that those who will cross are humans or hot animals. Thus, school safe zone will be effectively helped if you use this tool, because the traffic light control can be done automatically. Result Here shows the result of Arduino-based smart traffic light control simulation in the school safe zone and also the effectiveness of ultrasonic and peer sensors. For our road safety game, we have tested some students from elementary and high school to do our pre-test and post-test. Here is the result. Based on our analysis, high school students who played our game, their average post-test score are higher than their average pre-test score. Elementary school students who played our game, their average score for both tests are the same. This indicates that elementary students need a more creative way of learning. Students who played our game, they show an improvement of their average score. Students who did not play our game, they fail to improve their average score. From the data above, this game helps students to learn more about road safety. Conclusion this game combined with simulation can increase the knowledge of children in elementary and junior high school about road safety and school safety zone. For a future recommendation, we can make a real simulation with collaboration with the police department. Lastly, here are our references. Thank you!